Exploding Myths, Understanding the Phrase, Short Fuse. Hello, English Language Explorers. Today, we're going to unwrap the meaning behind the phrase, short fuse. Whether you've come across it in books, movies, or someone's description, knowing what this phrase means can add an exciting layer to your English comprehension. So let's light up our understanding together. Short fuse is a phrase that often pops up in English conversations. But what does it signify? In simplest terms, having a short fuse refers to a person who gets angry very quickly and easily. It's like a metaphor drawn from how a short fuse on a bomb isn't much time before it explodes. Similarly, a person with a short fuse has a short temper. The phrase short fuse is believed to have explosive origins, quite literally. It comes from the times when explosives like bombs or dynamite were used with a fuse wire that, when lit, would burn down to set off the explosion. A short fuse meant a shorter time to explosion. This vivid imagery has since been used to describe quick-to-ignite tempers. Let's see how to properly use short fuse in everyday conversation. Be careful when you bring up the topic of politics around Uncle John. He has a short fuse. I try to stay patient with customers, even though I have a short fuse. The coach has a short fuse, so it's better to avoid making mistakes during the game. Understanding how to use the phrase in context can help you communicate more effectively and enrich your vocabulary. On the flip side, someone with a long fuse is patient and takes a lot longer to get angry. It's helpful to know the opposite term as well, so you can describe a wide range of personality types. You might say, my sister is the calm one in the family. She has a long fuse. It's worth noting that describing someone as having a short fuse can have negative connotations. It implies a lack of control over one's temper, which may be frowned upon in many cultures. However, it can also simply be a neutral description of someone's quick reacting temperament without making a judgment on their character. If you or someone you know has a short fuse, here are some tips to manage it. Take deep breaths when you feel your temper rising. Count to 10 before responding to anger-inducing situations. Practice mindfulness or meditation to improve emotional regulation. Understanding phrases like short fuse can make learning English a blast. Pun intended. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the pictures they paint and the stories they tell. We hope this video has sparked your interest and added a new expression to your English vocabulary. Keep exploring, and until next time, keep your fuse long and your learning journey exciting.